Minister of Health Terence Dowsing says new equipment at the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex will soon be commissioned to assist with the diagnosis of cancer in children. During a visit to HIV and cancer patients at the Wendy Fitzwilliam Pediatric Hospital, Minister De Helsing said the equipment is a sponsored collaboration with the Royal Bank of Canada. He said the device should be up and running by 2019 and staff members continue to be trained to use the machine. A flow cytometer in 2019, which will significantly advance how we treat with these can cancers. So that is one collaboration you could look forward to. Currently, I think we have to send those samples abroad. Yes, we do. Right? We'll be able to have those samples, those blood samples, uh, looked at locally in 2019. While Minister of Health Terence Dalsing visited the pediatric hospital today, Boxing Day, to bring some festive cheer to the institution's young patients. At the Just Because ward of the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex in Mount Hope, Minister Dalsing said it's all about support for both the patients and medical staff to tackle diseases. Marie Hull tells us more. In the spirit of Christmas, joy came to the Just Because ward at Mount Hope. And while the pediatric patients continue to battle with their challenging effects of their illness, their parents are grateful for the hard work of staff. Like Laurel David, who recently found out her 10-year-old son has type 1 diabetes. I can say that the nurses and the doctors from since we came into now, they are wonderful, they are exceptional, they are they they with you round the clock, anything you ask, they help you, they teach you, they guide you. Um, they are patient in terms of us learning how it's done. They um, now started teaching me how to do the insulin on him, which is a bit tedious, but it's learning. Jenny Barrington said she has been in and out of the hospital with her now five-year-old daughter, who has had leukemia for the past two years. The mother of seven shared how she's coping. Very challenging. Some days you're up, some days you're down. It has been, it's an experience that you don't want anybody to experience. Health Minister Terence Yalting commended the staff for the work being done. With the proper information and support, these kids, many of them can lead fulfilling lives. And that is something we want to celebrate at Christmas time, celebrate in the new year, that these two children have the opportunity with modern medicine but with the support of wonderful people. The Just Because Ward started in 2007 and its mission is to provide practical and social and emotional support for families of children with cancer. Marie Hull, TTD News.